Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you a stored procedure with input parameter as well as output parameter. Now I will take the same scenario. Now at this time what I want is, I will pass input parameter as department ID and it should return me the sum of salaries of that particular department. I will pass input parameter as department ID and it should send me the sum of salaries of that particular department. How do I do that? I can write separate query as department ID is in the same table and sum of salaries is also in the same table. I can use single table query. So I will say select sum of TBL employee dot TBL employee dot employee salary from TBL underscore employee table where TBL underscore employee dot department ID equals to at DID. Now I am trying to find the sum of department whose ID whatever I am passing as input parameter. Now I want this sum to be returned from this stored procedure. Only a single value should be returned. So I will say at SOS equals to this. Now at SOS is output parameter. I need to even define that. I will say comma at SOS as float. I will say output. So any parameter is by default input. If you want to make an output parameter, declare an output parameter, you need to say it explicitly. Now I will rename the stored procedure. My SP with input and output parameters. I will say create and execute this. Command got executed successfully. I will simply refresh this. I should get a stored procedure with input and output parameter. Now how do I execute this stored procedure? It is little bit tricky to execute the stored procedure. Again I will use exec stored procedure with input and output parameter and I will pass the input parameter. Input parameter is nothing but 1001 and I will pass the output parameter. Now do I need to pass the value of output parameter? No. The stored procedure is going to return me the value of output parameter. So I will store that in a variable. I will declare a variable here. Say result. And I will use declare keyword. To declare any variable. Declare result. As. Float. And here I will say. At. SOS is output parameter. At. SOS is equals to at result. It's bit reverse. Normally SOS value should be assigned to result. So we should write SOS on the right and result on the left. But whenever you are executing a stored procedure with output parameter you need to reverse the case. You need to write SOS on the left and result on the right. And I'll say output because this is an output parameter. Now I will get the result in at result and here I will say select at result. Execute this should get the value as 35,500. If I change it to 1000 I should get the different value. So in this way a stored procedure can return n number of output parameters. So we have seen all the scenarios, a stored procedure with no input and no output parameter, a stored procedure with input parameter but no output parameter and finally a stored procedure with input as well as output parameter. So this is all about your stored procedure. Thank you very much.